Okay, so we're back here with another video, and today we're going to be playing Hunting Simulator 2. Um, Way of the Hunter comes out tomorrow, and it's one of the closest games I have to it, so we haven't played it in a while. So we're going to play this. I can't show you guys my lodge, so I'm just going to bring you guys back when we get in the field, because music has copyright claims and stuff. So I'll see you guys when we're in the field. Okay, so we're in the field here. We have the 30 out 6 So we're going to take out our elk call and put out a couple calls, because sometimes... the animals will spawn right at the cabin. Usually it's either elk or boar. So that's why we're carrying our boar call and our elk call. So I've unlocked two tents, so we're gonna head off to the tents and see if we can't find anything. So this is our first tent. Okay, so we do have two boars here. We'll try and call them in. Uh, I've had issues where they spook when I'm trying to call them in. Um, it might be because of like my scent or something, like the wind blowing right at them and they're just getting catching a whiff of my scent. But uh, I try to lay down and stay as low as possible when I'm calling them in. But um, yeah. Boar, they're fun to hunt, but they don't give a lot of money back. Like a bull elk would give way more. That's our female. There are two and they usually travel in pairs of a male and a female, but I don't know where the male is. Um, that's weird. Oh, it's in front of her. Okay. I still can't get a marker on them. I'm hoping they come through this grass to the call and they don't just like go. Okay, so there's the male. I hope they don't just go on the other side of the hill, but we do have a coyote. I can't remember how much money coyotes pay, but uh, we're gonna go for the boar. Um, we'll use the 30 out 6. Try to move up to this bush to try and uh, get in a little bit of cover so they don't like immediately see us. So there's the male. It gives me like this marker saying it's there, but I, I can't see it. We might go and get that coyote after we shoot this boar if it hasn't run off. Alright, so there's our male. Wait. Okay, that was the female. Fingers crossed we shot the right one. I'm pretty sure that coyote would have spooked, but... um, Fingers crossed we shot the right one, or shot him at all. Where did he go? Because here's the tracks. Oh, we flat out missed him. Okay. So here is our male boar. Oh my okay. god. We hit brain, lungs, and I believe that's stomach. It's either stomach or liver. So we did complete this license, which is good. We're going we're gonna to take the 243 and we're going to see if this coyote's still here. When Usually when I shoot boars, I usually aim for the head so I don't have to track them very far. Because if you hit the brain, it drops. But, uh, yeah. It's, it's, it's easier on me so I don't have to track it for 200 yards because I made a bad shot. But I don't see this coyote anywhere. We also do have the the smaller like the plus sign for the 243 since it's smaller game it's just less things going on but yeah i don't see it so we're gonna come down to this tent and this tent usually has bighorn check my bighorn license so okay so yeah so i still have two left which is perfect because they usually only travel in groups of two so i'm not seeing anything in the valley sometimes they're on the other side of this ridge behind the tent so come up here and check There is a coyote, but that male is going to pay more. Get the 30 out, 6 out. See if we can't make a good shot. I don't know what that was. Looks like we nailed them. I don't know why he's still running. Try and put another shot into him. Okay, so I don't know what I did. I don't know if I missed or not, but uh, I'm going to try and track them 
I'll bring you guys back if we find them. I don't really know what happened, but yeah. Okay, so I've been on his track for about 200 yards, and I have seen no blood, so I'm assuming we missed. But, uh, yeah, we're probably just gonna have to drop that out. Wait, hold on. Okay, never mind, there's actually a pair out here we can take the bull. It looks like we are in collar range. So we'll call him in real quick. If we get close enough, I can take a heart shot at like 150. Um... It's really easy to take heart shots on elk. That's usually how I kill them. Alright, so I'm gonna take the shot. Line this up. That's a female, yeah. And dropped him. Yeah, this is why I love the heart shot. It just drops them so I don't have to track them. It's really easy. Okay, so this is our buck down. I went the wrong way like the boar and I missed him. So I had to go back. But this is our bull. He doesn't look like there's anything special about him. Because they did release legendaries. But it was a heart, lung, and stomach shot it looks like. But yeah, so we're going to go to a different spot. And see if we can't find anything else. If not, we'll end the video. But uh, yeah, see where we go. Okay, so we went back to the cabin, and we do have two rams out here. Um, this is going to demonstrate one of the things I don't like about Hunting Simulator 2. Is you can basically go in a full-blown sprint to about 150 yards away from them, and they won't even notice. They won't spook or alert or anything. Which is kind of unrealistic, because they'll spook way earlier. If they're wild animals, not uh, contained. But we're going to try and get both of them since we do have two uh, bighorn uh, tags to fill. There's another one down here. That is a female, so we can't shoot that one, but we can shoot these two rams. Now, I want them both to come over the ridge so I don't have to run over the ridge and try and catch up with them. But I don't know where this other one is. And there is a hill to my left that this first one's going to go through, go under, or behind. So I wish this one would hurry up in the back. He's kind of dragging his feet. He's starting to lose the first one. Alright, here he is. Alright, heart shot on him. Good. Looks like that was a solid lung, hot, lung shot. And I had to reload. It's okay. As long as we hit him good. That actually went a lot smoother than I thought it was gonna. Because... Usually, the second one is to already got his back turned to you completely by the time you get that shot in on him. And usually, you hit like just flush, you don't actually hit him very well, and then you have to track him for a long time. Happy that that uh, follow up shot on the second one It's good. But that's two licenses complete. I think that's gonna wrap it up. We'll go to the cabin and claim our animals, and we'll end the video after that. So. This was our wild boar. He was 1.6 years old, and he ended up. Uh, we'll get uh, 791 points for him, and he scored 93. This is our elk. He was 7.8 years old. We'll get 791 credits, and he was 100. He scored 155. And this is our first big horn. He was 15.6 years old. We'll get 225 credits, and he scored 176. This was the bigger one. And this is our last one. He was 8.9 years old. We'll get 162 credits. And he scored 185. And this was the second one, which was smaller. But uh, this is not what I have right now. But that's going to be the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'm looking forward to making Way of the Hunter videos in the future. But uh, like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.